All right, before we head out in the car, let me go over this diagram with you because the parking lot is probably the trickiest uh, part of this entire event here. So the red line, the beginning of that at the DMV building on the right, that's where you park to start the test. You then back out, go north here. I'm saying north as not up. I'm not sure if it's true north. Go up towards that tree. You're going to make a left where that white circle is. And then basically you do a little roundabout around that McDonald's, which is that main parking lot in the upper left corner you're seeing here. You got to be aware of this area because there's a lot of things going on. The stop sign lines are way behind the intersection. So oftentimes you have to stop and then creep forward slowly to see if there's anyone coming. So do it that way. Make your initial stop and then proceed with caution. Coming back is the blue line, so you're basically doing a, a big loop downtown and then coming back the blue line the same way. Keep in mind, you're typically coming back to the same aisle you started in, but a different direction that lines up with the parking spots to, to return to. And you'll see this in the video, but I just wanted to show an aerial of uh, what's happening. All right, guys, this is the Gilroy DMV driving test. I'm going to try to find you a couple routes here that I've heard are popular. So when you first arrive, you want to park just wherever, and then you go inside near window one by the black carpet, and then they will tell you likely to move the car into one of these spots here. So let's do that. Here's the spot. It says start of drive test. They're going to come in, have you do the hand signals through the window, know where your headlights, auxiliary lights are, or otherwise known as running lights, defroster, all that kind of stuff. So study your vehicle well. Once they're in, you definitely want to make sure they're buckled up. Sometimes they tell you to go ahead and they're not buckled up. So remember to study that. Uh, and the most importantly throughout the test, if you don't understand something, ask them to clarify. You're better off doing that than making an assumption. So let's begin. Let's back up out of the spot. Hand on seat. I know you can't see me, but I'm looking back behind my head. And this is a two-way street, as you can see here, two-way aisle. When you come back, you're going to be on my left side parking in one of those. So we'll go over that in a minute. No painted lines here, but let's treat it like a stop sign signaling left. And we got to go around this McDonald's here, which is always very busy. They're going to tell you to go left right here at the stop sign. Again, no painted white lines. So just assume it's right where that sign is. I'm stopping completely left signal, looking for people coming straight from 10th Street, merging on the right. And I'm also creeping forward here, looking left to make sure no traffic is coming. If they are, you can stop and wait. You can't see it till you pull out. So don't just go if there's people coming. Another stop sign, turn signal right and go. Sometimes right here, this drive through is really backed up. You might have to go between cars. They're going to have you go right here. Stop sign is again, right where the sign is still need to creep out to make sure it's safe to go so do that slowly watch for people making u-turns in front of you here and number one route here they're gonna have you go straight when you stop behind a car you're leaving enough room where you can see the bottom of their tires Another common fail point is touching the bicycle lane, I've heard here. So when you're going down these residential areas that you'll see shortly here, avoid going into the bike lane. This is the most hectic part here is this parking lot that we just left. After that, it's a very easy test with very minimal things to watch for. Green light and we're going. Two hands on the wheel at all time. Checking over your shoulder when you switch lanes if you need to. Speed limit's 30 here. Keep in mind of the keep clear areas if you have to stop. Very wide, nice lanes here, nothing to worry about. 
Now they're either gonna have you go left on 8th or 6th here. So we'll do the first route, uh, which will be 6th Street. But keep in mind, when you do turn left here on 8th, you have to use this middle turning lane. You would have already been in it at this point and signaling. If you don't go into that middle turn lane, it's an automatic fail. Another nice thing about this area is all of these are four-way stops. So you can see what's there right away. Still obviously look, but you're not gonna have to worry about fast traffic to uh, blindsight you here. School zone on the right. This is 7th Street, one more, and we're gonna go left. Again, watch this bike lane on the right. Checking my uh, blind spot mirrors to make sure I'm nowhere near it. Signaling left. And we're going. Now these streets are a little narrower, so you wanna watch for people opening doors. You don't wanna hug the right side. And we're just going down 6th Street. Person in front is not signaling, so assuming they're going straight. Watching pedestrians. Very slow. Everything is slow here. Don't, don't rush. You're more likely to get into trouble here by rushing. There is no rush. Another four-way stop. We're gonna continue straight. We're going towards downtown. This is a popular area to do the backup portion. So let's do that. We're gonna signal right, look over shoulder. Gonna pull over here. Give yourself some room against that curb. You don't wanna make it harder for yourself. Pulling in straight is the best thing you can do here because when you back up, it's also gonna be straight. Again, you can't see me, but I'm looking over my shoulder, hand on the headrest. And you wanna back up at a walking speed. That's the guidance that's been given and that I've seen. Usually 20, 40 feet until they tell you to stop. Keep looking. If you start to veer, just slowly correct yourself. Don't panic. Stopping, putting it back in drive, signaling left, and I'm waiting patiently. No rush. There's a big truck here, another car coming. I know you can't see it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with waiting. <laughs> People tend to feel nervous and get in a hurry, but that's not what instructors want to see. They want to feel safe. And I'm back on track here. Again, going down 6th Street. This is not a stop. Confusing, but not a stop. Railroad, if a train does come, make sure you stay behind those white lines. If they have you go left on Monterey, be careful. There's no arrow here. But we're going to go right on Monterey. I'm stopping for the yellow. Definitely not blocking the crosswalk. You don't want to do that. You can go right on red here, so you slowly start to creep out. I'm looking left, looking left, and going. Watch out for cars backing up to your right out of parking spots. Watch out for pedestrians. This is 5th Street. We're going to go left on 4th Street. Green light, everything smooth and slow. Keep it under 25 downtown. Another route is coming down Lewis here. All of these streets are very easy. Again, stopping before the crosswalk. 
we're gonna go left on the up there on fourth street so you got to get in the turning lane and what they're watching for here is that you do not cross those double yellow lines double yellow is a concrete barrier just remember that I'm going signaling left on fourth and I'm turning sharp in straighten out again my signal turned off so I turned it back on hands on wheels This is a left arrow here, so when it turns, you can proceed with caution. And we're going, double checking, nobody's running the light. And we're gonna go left on Gourmet Alley, which is right here. I'm signaling, keep in mind, this is one way and 15 miles per hour, it's an alley. Be very slow and careful here. This is an area they like to see how you proceed with caution. I'm actually going about nine, 10 miles an hour right here. I can't imagine actually going 15 miles an hour in this small, tight alley. It's one way nobody should be coming towards you, but if they do for some reason, I would suggest pulling over and maybe putting your hazard lights on as an extra precaution. Again, you're looking for hazards like people darting out of an alley, animals, and up here, especially this crosswalk, this sidewalk. So I'm pausing before, stopping even, signaling, turning right, still creeping out, make sure there's no one on the sidewalk, looking left, and I'm going very slowly here. So this is fifth, and we're gonna go left on Church, which is not this one. Complete stop, another four-way stop, still looking left and right from here on out it's pretty straightforward going left on Church Street we'll make a complete stop here of course now this is not a four-way stop and it's hard to see like a lot of these intersections so now I'm creeping out and I'm pausing someone's coming to my left and again someone's coming so I'm stopping I've already cross the stop but I'm having to wait left right looking constantly left right now it's clear even though cars are coming I'm going you have to be deliberate and here we're gonna go all the way straight until we get to 10th Street again Stopping again before the crosswalk line, full stop. Slowly start going. This was a four-way stop. Staying in my lane, I'm not touching the bicycle lane. At this point, what you're focused on is hazards, maintaining the speed limit, relax a minute. If you don't see a speed limit sign, probably 25 or 30 here and sometimes the instructor will tell you full four-way stop here again nothing stressful I'm going my hands are 10 and 2 on the wheel just relaxed going about 25 here Scanning the road, they want to see that. Looking left and right. Signaling left now for 10th Street. Don't cross the double yellow. Everything's slow. Sometimes the GoPro makes it look like we're moving faster than we are. And you want to stay in the left lane, the inside lane. You cannot just drift out to the right. You got to stay here for a second. At this point, or very soon, they will tell you to get in the right lane. I'll do that now. I'm looking over my shoulder. Signal off. Watching for a yellow light. These are slow roads, so if you get a yellow, more than likely, 99%, you're going to end up stopping. Don't rush through these lights. It'll cause you to speed. 
right lane again over my shoulder straight the instructor will say turn right at the next light that's where you came out of initially I'm signaling avoiding confusing people coming out of this lot maybe I would have signaled a little bit later don't get too close to the cars green light so you don't have to stop now here you want to get immediately into the left lane there's not much time signal left I'm pausing here and I'm going now when you return the car this can get a little tricky here they will likely tell you to go left here there's this drive-through so go around with caution right signal watch the crosswalk definitely slow down it's a bump as well go slowly don't turn right here this is a drive-through don't turn right here this is one way they're gonna tell you to turn right right here by this white circle signaling signal off and they're gonna tell you to park in one of these reserved for end of drive test signal look over shoulder turn in another tip do not hit that concrete barrier or it's an instant fail sometimes immediately in park foot brake on and relax for further instruction hopefully you passed okay route number two same thing as route number one in terms of leaving the DMV all that's gonna be the same likely signaling right again the white stop sign light or a uh, line is not here so you go where the sign is imagine a white line now you're creeping forward looking left otherwise you wouldn't be able to see really so remember that when you start to leave from a stop sign that doesn't mean you just continue going you have to still sometimes creep out as these lines are uh, far sometimes from the the intersection on route number one we went left on 6th Street and I had told you if you watched that segment of the video that there's a middle turning lane on 8th Street so oftentimes they'll have you go that way, which is what we're gonna do now. And it's very important that you get into that middle lane. It comes on quick. And I'm not sure how much notice they'll give you. You don't wanna be in it, according to the DMV handbook, longer than 200 feet. But trust me, that's a long time and they're not gonna give you that much notice. So you get right in it. So that's what we're gonna do up here. So again, that's gonna be left on 8th Street. So this one's ninth. Usually they'll tell you after the street you're crossing, they don't want to confuse you. So you can already see the middle turn lane. They'll probably say it now. You're going to want to turn left on 8th Street. So I'm going to get in right about the curve here. I'm signaling. I'm pausing. I'm looking straight ahead to make sure no one's coming. If someone's coming, I wait right here and then go when it's clear. You do not have the right of way. Hopefully that's clear. I'm going 15 miles an hour here-ish. They're gonna tell you to go right on Forest Street. And Forest Street is a popular area for the backup. They usually look for an open area like this. So let's do it. Signal right over shoulder. And again, important to straighten out. Don't get too close to the curb. I'm kind of hugging this white line. Putting it in reverse, hand over rear headrest on the right side. I'm backing up at a walking pace. So absolutely no gas, no throttle here. I'm just letting off the brake. And they tell you to stop. Notice I didn't move the wheel at all. Put it in drive, signal left look left in the mirror over shoulder hand back on wheel and you're off it's going to 
gonna stop at the four-way stop here. Complete stop, and I'm going. Again, like I said in the first route, you're just really watching speed here, watching for obstacles, people pulling out in front of you. Stay away from the bike lane, scan the road, etc. Here's that 6th Street that we came down earlier. All of these roads are easy. It's the parking lot and uh, the fine points of that. I'm just going straight. I'm going about 20 here. Just because the speed limit is 25-30 doesn't mean you have to go that speed. You don't want to go too slow either. But... Go oh, it's safe. This is about 25 and that feels enough to me. Up here, we're gonna go left on Lewis Street at the stop sign. I'm signaling left. Complete stop before the line. Looking left, right. These are tight streets right here. So don't cross the yellow line. Super slow here. 10, 12 miles an hour is what I'm going. Watch for signs person's backing up so I'm off the gas knowing they're gonna come out here and we're aiming towards Monterey that main downtown again watching the railroad tracks if you start to see the lights flash right now you would stop right here before this white line well before it I would also suggest slowing down as you get close to it the road markings are terrible here in Gilray. You can see I was over that yellow line. I shouldn't have been. It was painted with spray paint. So signal left for Monterey. Stopping before the line and wait. Now, even if there's no arrow here, obviously there's no oncoming traffic. It's a only left or right situation. So you're just basically looking left and right and going. No big deal. Always be checking your mirrors behind you while you're sitting here doing nothing. You're not doing nothing. You should be always be looking around. Look at your gauges. Looking left, driving slow. Do not cross that yellow line. Watching for pedestrians. Listening to the instruction. If there's a car behind that car in front of me, I would have stopped before this crosswalk. You don't want to block things like crosswalks. That's usually an instant fail. Take note of that. Just going straight. Keeping a good two, three second distance. Watching for cars on my right here pulling out of spots. If I see a reverse light, I would continue going. You don't want to stop but be ready on the horn if you see someone back up. It's hard for them to see oncoming traffic around cars. Fire truck, they're just sitting there with their hazards, no big deal. No sirens. If for some reason they turn their siren on, I would do my best to pull to the right here, maybe even go around this corner, pause and put my hazards on. Trying to talk through some hypotheticals as well. I'm going about 22 miles an hour here. It's likely 25 as that sign says. Yellow light, I'm stopping. Relaxed stops, I'm doing nothing uh, aggressively or fast. There's no rush. I'm watching this lady, I'm off the gas, now I'm on it. It looked like she was gonna go, so. When you're taking the test, it will probably be pretty quiet other than the instructor's instruction, but I'm just trying to give you some things to look for here, some potential uh, situations, particularly in the Gilroy area. I'm gonna stay in this left lane. If you ended up being in the right lane, they'll probably tell you to get in the left lane, so. Signal left. It's 
an arrow light, so when it turns green, you should be able to go with caution. I always look left and right, even when you have a green, it shows that you're being defensive and looking for potential traffic who may have run the light. I'm scanning traffic left and right with my head to make it obvious. Green light, I'm just slowly going. While I'm going, I'm looking left and right. Again, do not cross the yellow line and stay in your inside lane. Again, at some point, you're gonna have to get in the right lane because you're turning right up there. So if you can, if they say so, do it sooner than later. Signaling right, looking over shoulder, and I'm stopping. I wouldn't have had enough time to move one more over. If they asked me to, I would say it didn't feel safe. I'll do it after the light. I don't know if you can see the person crossing the street, but sometimes you'll get people taking their time and the light will turn green. That doesn't mean to go. If there's someone crossing the street, you need to wait. And when you do go, you slowly go. That happens a lot if you see, you know, homeless people or whatnot. Just remember the just because you have the right of way or the right to do something, it's always superseded by whether it's safe or not. I'm just slowly on the gas. Instructor told me to get in the right lane and turn at the next light. I'm doing that. Signaling, looking over shoulder, everything's smooth. Signaling right. This is Auto Mall Parkway. To the left, it's called Chestnut. To the right, it's Auto Mall Parkway. Full stop. I can turn right on red, but I'm waiting. I'm creeping forward now. I've already done my stop. There's still cars coming, however. And I'm gonna slowly go here. But once you go, get going, because there's just gonna be more traffic coming after that. Left signal, making sure no oncoming traffic is coming. And I'm going with caution. Again, this drive through gets really busy, so if it's backed up in front of me, they usually leave a gap to the left. Don't go around to the left if you can avoid it. Go to the right, because that's the thing you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to go into oncoming traffic if you can avoid it, obviously. All right, left turn. Same situation here. This drive through gets crazy. You're gonna go around with caution, signal right, and see this person didn't even look left. Need to be careful. Slow down for this little crosswalk. It's a bump as well. You're gonna go right eventually here. Not here, that's the drive-through. And not here, that's one way. But right here, right by the DMV. Except instead of parking to the left where you started, you're gonna park to the right. 